Hello, you are watching Hornbill TV's Explainery. As the 2024 Lok Sabha elections are approaching, the, op the opposition INDIA bloc suffered another heavy blow as the Enforcement Directorate arrested AAP National Convener and Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and who is currently in remand in the money laundering case related to the excise policy case. Several protests erupted after Kejriwal's arrest, which comes following Jharkhand Chief Minister Hemant Soren, whose party, the Jharkhand Mukti Morcha, is also a constituent of the Indi bloc. After his arrest, AAP leaders and ministers in the Delhi cabinet, Atishi and Saurabh Bhardwaj, have strongly asserted that Kejriwal will still remain Chief Minister even if he was in jail. In today's explanatory, we will try and analyse whether a sitting Chief Minister can still remain a Chief Minister even though he is in jail and what the law states. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal was arrested on Thursday, 21st March by the Enforcement Directorate in connection with the alleged Delhi liquor excise policy scam. Earlier in the day, the Delhi High Court had refused to grant any interim protection from coercive action to the Aam Aadmi Party chief. Kejriwal has reportedly been arrested under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002. The Aam Aadmi Party national convener was arrested by the ED on March 21st in an excise policy linked money laundering case and subsequently remanded to the agency's custody till March 28th, 2024. ED while seeking remand stated that data in one mobile phone belonging to the arrestee's wife has been extracted and is being analyzed. However, data from another four digital devices seized during search at Arvind Kejriwal's premises on March 21st are yet to be extracted as the arrestee has sought time to provide password, login credentials after consulting with his lawyers. The court remanded Kejriwal in the ED custody for six days, that is April 1st, after the agency pressed for his custodial interrogation for 10 days. The ED has accused the AAP leader of being the mastermind in the Delhi liquor scam. Mr. Kejriwal rose to address the court directly and accused the probe agency of trying to crush his party. The court on April 1st then ordered that Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal be lodged in jail number 2 of Tihar prison in the national capital. He will be kept alone in the isolated lockup of jail number 2 which will be under 24-hour CCTV surveillance. Earlier during the day, a Delhi court sent Kejriwal to judicial custody till April 15th in the excise policy linked money laundering case. It was produced in the court of Special Judge Kaveri Baweja after his Enforcement Directorate custody came to an end. The ED had sought 15-day judicial custody of Kejriwal, saying he was totally uncooperative. Speaking to reporters before entering court, the AAP leader said, whatever the Prime Minister is doing is not good for the country. AAP ministers Atishi, Saurabh Bhardwaj and Kejriwal's wife, Sunita Kejriwal, were present in court. In regard to the news of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's arrest, on the 28th of March, the Delhi High Court rejected a public interest litigation seeking the removal of Arvind Kejriwal from the post of Chief Minister of Delhi after his arrest by the ED in a money laundering case linked to the now scrapped Delhi excise policy. A bench headed by Acting Chief Justice Manmohan refused to comment on the merits of the issue, saying the same fell outside the scope of judicial interference. It is for the other wings of the government to examine in accordance with the law. The bench, also comprising Justice Manmeet P.S. Arora, said, During the hearing, the court asked petitioner Surjit Singh Yadav's counsel to show the legal bar on the continuation of Arvind Kejriwal as the chief minister. There may be practical difficulties, but that is something else. Where is the legal bar, the court asked. After Delhi court sent CM Kejriwal to Tihar jail for 15 days, the AAP said that Kejriwal will continue as the Chief Minister of Delhi, irrespective of the duration of his term in jail. Now the question remains, can a sitting Chief Minister who has been arrested and in remand still serve as Chief Minister? As per the Constitution of India, the only protection government figure immune to arrest is the President of the Republic, who is immune from civil and criminal proceedings until his, her term ends. Article 361 of the Constitution states that the President of India and Governors of States are not answerable to any court of law for any act done in discharge of their official duties. While the President and Governors are shielded through this provision, the legal immunity does not apply to the Prime Minister or Chief Ministers. The Prime Minister and the Chief Ministers are treated as equals in front of the Constitution, which advocates the right to equality before the law. Though there may be practical challenges before a chief minister, but he is not legally bound from holding the office while under investigation. 
If we look at similar situations faced by chief ministers in the past, a notable precedent occurred when J. Jayalalitha of Tamil Nadu became the first chief minister to be convicted while actively serving in office in 2014, after which she had to step down from the post of chief minister. Other cases involved Bihar Chief Minister Lalu Prasad in 1997, who resigned as Chief Minister upon arrest due to corruption charges and made Rabri Devi his wife as the Chief Minister. And in the latest of examples, Hemant Soren in Jharkhand also resigned. Asked whether Kejriwal can continue as the Chief Minister post, during his judicial custody, senior advocate Ajit Sinha said, there is no specific provision in the constitution barring a person continuing as the Chief Minister once incarcerated, but it is practically impossible. Senior advocate and former SCBA president Vikas Singh echoed the same view, saying there are many things which are not written in the constitution and it will be difficult to run the government from prison. The chief minister will have to seek permission from the court and the authorities for every action which he proposes to take as the head of the administration in any case. Kejriwal cannot summon a cabinet meeting in jail, Sina said, adding that running the government from prison will be practically impossible. Cabinet meetings cannot be summoned in jail and the state would be rendered rudderless in the absence of the CM presiding over these meetings. For every such meeting or administrative task, Kejriwal will have to seek the court's permission, which is practically impossible, Sina said. Asked whether Kejriwal can continue as chief minister after his arrest, Sankaran Narayan said there is no bar in law on a person continuing as chief minister once arrested. As per the Representation of the People Act, it is only after a conviction that an MLA can be treated as disqualified and therefore disentitled to be a minister. Although unprecedented, it is technically possible for him to function from jail, he said. As Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal is currently lodged in Tihar jail, another question arises and that is what powers do the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi have in such circumstances? Is another factor as in the past, the elected government of Delhi has had many run-ins with the Lieutenant Governor over many issues. But on March 27th, the message was clear. Delhi Lieutenant Governor VK Saxena broke his silence on the arrest of CM Arvind Kejriwal by the Enforcement Directorate. Speaking about the CM running the government from prison, VK Saxena said, Delhi government will not be run from jail. Speaking at the Times Now summit held in the national capital, VK Saxena said, I can assure the people of Delhi that the government will not be run from jail. The governor of Delhi was speaking in the backdrop of the statements by Aam Aadmi Party leaders that Arvind Kejriwal will continue as chief minister, even if he is behind bars. Delhi's unique power structure featuring an elected chief minister and a lieutenant governor appointed by the centre presents a complex scenario. Kejriwal's ability to continue as CM depends on legal relief, failing which the lieutenant governor can seek presidential intervention, potentially leading to the imposition of president's rule. Recent cases demonstrate how denial of bail can compel resignation, highlighting the precarious position of arrested officials. In light of these developments, the Lieutenant Governor could invoke failure of constitutional machinery to justify President's rule, thereby bringing the national capital under direct union government control until the end of the current Assembly's tenure in February 2025. Arvind Kejriwal has always propagated that every elector consciously cast their vote for an educated leader. In terms of education, Arvind Kejriwal is an ex-alumni of the prestigious Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur, who cracked the prestigious IS exams and was then allocated as cadre in the prestigious Indian Revenue Service as an assistant commissioner of income tax in 1995, after which, in February 2006, he resigned from his position as Joint Commissioner of Income Tax in New Delhi. Further, Arvind Kejriwal and several AAP leaders have asserted in the past few days that the common saying, innocent until proven guilty, has now been turned into guilty until proven innocent. With his close aide, Sanjay Singh, being granted bail by the Supreme Court in the same say said case, will Kejriwal get any respite before the first phase of polls on April 19th? That we'll have to wait and watch. For more explainaries like this, keep watching Hornbill TV. Goodbye.